photo pad. CJ, did you still have a question or is your hand just still up from earlier? My hand's still up from earlier. Okay. No worries. Bam. Here it comes. Okay. All right. In your note, in your notebook, I would like you to write down these two terms mutually exclusive and coexist. Okay. When you've written these down, please give me a thumbs up on the uh, old screen there. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you, Maddie. Oh, good morning, Shayon. How are you doing? Oh, good. Good. Thank you, Aleem. Thank you, Sattvic. Thank you, Jaden. <coughs> Thank you, CJ. Uh, Munira, Shayon, Tatum. Do you guys have these words down yet? Um, almost. Thank you, Munira. Thank you, Tatum. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what these words mean. They're both tied to our idea of perspective. Okay. So we can have mutually exclusive perspectives, and we can also have coexisting perspectives. What this means, I'm going to start with coexist. When we have perspectives that coexist, that means that they are perspectives that can happen at the same time. So, for example, when I talked earlier about sports competitions, sports games, okay, and how CJ and I could watch the same game and watch the same result, but have different feelings and different viewpoints about that game, right? CJ can be really happy. I might be really, really sad. We can call those coexisting perspectives. They can happen at the same time and they don't kind of, uh, they don't fight with each other. Does that make sense? Are there questions, ways I could explain this a little differently? Okay. Take a moment, please, and write down this short definition in that note or notebook, okay? Coexist means that they are perspectives that can happen at the same time. Thank you, Aleem. Yeah, uh, sorry, if you could again, give me that thumbs up just so that I know when People are ready to move on. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, Jaden. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Manira. Thank you, Mr. Dipburner. Thank you, Shayon, Talika, Tatum. Awesome. Give just a few more seconds for those of you still adding it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now, if coexist means that they can happen at the same time, can anybody think or, or can anybody guess 
what maybe mutually exclusive means. Um, maybe it's someone with like a whole different perspective than others. Okay. I think I think you're on you're on the right track. It definitely does involve a perspective that would be, let's say, really different than somebody else. Does anybody else want to give a try or add something to it? So what we're talking about when we talk about mutually exclusive, and I'm going to shrink this down a little bit because it's a little big. We're looking at the opposite of coexist. So perspectives that <clears throat> cannot or should not happen at the same time. So before I get into some examples of this, I'd like you to write this down in your note in your notebook. Thank you, Maddie. Topic. Oh, I meant to do the thumbs up thing, not the. That's all right. No worries. No worries. Okay. <clears throat> Give you guys just a little bit more time. All right. Now, to be honest, to be frank, there are not a lot of mutually exclusive perspectives. There are definitely a lot more perspectives that can coexist, okay? But there are examples of mutually exclusive. I'm gonna give you a really extreme one, okay? Are you guys ready? Okay, this is really extreme, so get ready. Imagine you have two people. One person thinks that murder is wrong, and another person thinks that murder is okay. This would be an example of perspectives that are mutually exclusive. These two people are going to have a really hard time existing in society together because one views or has this, let's say, more extreme view, while the other holds the opposite view, okay? Does this make sense? Is there more clarification, more examples that I could add? Sapphic, I can only kind of see you shaking your head, but I don't know if it means something. Actually, I was, was going to say no, but actually, I changed my mind. Yeah, no, that's exact. That's okay. Um, another okay, and again, these are ex these are those extreme examples, guys. But that's why they're mutually exclusive. Racism would be another example of a mutually exclusive perspective. If you have one person that says, despite color, religion, ethnicity, all people are the same, and you have another person that says, no, certain types of people based on their religion, their color, their race, their ethnicity are better than other people, the, this would be another example of a mutually exclusive perspective, because if you or if someone 
thinks that they are better than someone else based on their skin color or based on their religion or based on their ethnicity, it's going to be really hard for that person to live in a society with different people. Does that make sense? Does that help, Sattvic? Yeah. Shayan, did you have something that you wanted to add? Um, no, I was just going to say yes, too. Oh, okay, great. So we have an idea of mutually exclusive perspective, and we have an idea of coexisting perspectives. Now, we're not going to get to this question just yet, but I have a challenge question for you guys that I want you to write down and your homework today when we're done with our lesson is to take 10 minutes to think. That's it, is to just think about this question. Okay, we ready? Okay, the question is, how can we tell the difference between a perspective that is mutually exclusive and a perspective that can coexist? How can we tell the difference between a perspective that is mutually 